Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. So in this video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Nikon D5500. Now this is Esatino Artists, our first DSLR camera. We've actually not owned anything like this because we're usually filming on the Logitech webcams. This is the C930E. We're filming on GoPro and we're doing screencasts for our online tutorials. So we've never had a camera like this before. And we decided that in 2016 that we're going to upgrade and give our channel a facelift and do more professional type videos. So that's why we decided to get a DSLR. So I went into the store, I told the guy I was a YouTuber and he basically suggested this camera because of the touch screen that you can flip around so that you can see yourself. He's like, do you think this feature would be good for you? Do you think that you would find this helpful? And I was like, oh yeah, because I'm I'm filming videos by myself. Arit's gonna be filming videos by herself and it's easier to frame the shot that way when you're when you're in the in front of the camera and you can see what's going on. So I'll show you that feature in a second, but this is the box right now. And let's do some unboxing. I don't usually do unboxing videos, but I felt it was necessary for this one because it was our very first DSLR, and that's exciting for our channel. So, just gonna open it up. And first thing you see are the standard manuals, right? Typical. To be honest, I don't really even read this kind of stuff anymore. I just YouTube everything. I am a YouTuber, right? So I just I just YouTube everything if I don't know how to do something on a camera or software. So here we go. We've got two slots. And we basically got the camera on one side and then all the accessories on the other side. So let's start off with the body of the camera. Now I was playing around with this in the store and I liked the way that this felt in my hands compared to the Nikon. I have really small hands, so the Nikon was smaller compared to the Canon that he was showing me. So, and it was lighter too. So here's what it looks like gonna pull it out and it's nice and small can fit in my hands and one of the cool things that I liked about this camera was that we can have this flip out right and then go like that so when I'm recording myself, if I want to be holding it, you know, like this or whatever, I can see myself on this screen because it's flipped over to me. And this is also touch screen. This screen is also touch screen, which I thought was really cool. And he said that this is an entry level camera, but it's above the first kind of entry level. So this isn't like the the bottom level of entry level. He said this is an entry level camera, but it's like a little bit more advanced than the, the entry entry level. Okay, so that was the body of the camera. And that was one, honestly one of the main features that I really liked was this screen and how small it is. Cause I don't want a big clunky one, to be honest. I, I don't want that right now. I just want like a nice small DSLR that I can fit in my hand. So next is the Nikon strap. We'll, we will be attaching that obviously onto the camera because I don't want to drop this while I'm using it. So I will definitely be using that the strap. Cords for the TV, standard. Stand, this is, yeah, so we can attach it onto the TV. Cords again to connect to the computer, standard. We got the charger and the battery. So he also suggested that if we're gonna be out and about that we get another battery because he said the camera lasts in use between 45 to one hour. So 45 minutes to one hour. And he said it's best to have another battery on hand just in case this one dies. And I do agree because I have multiple batteries for my GoPro because when it does die and you know you wanna film something, you definitely wanna have an extra one on hand. So I will be getting another battery. Hey 
And last but not least is the actual lens. So we said this lens didn't have a crazy zoom on it, but it's going to be good for what we're filming. So when we do these types of videos, indoor and outdoor, he said this will be fine for what we need it for. Eventually, I probably will get a better uh, zoom lens because I, I would want to zoom in and do some more action-y type shots. So here is the lens right now. It's nice. Again, I'm a complete newbie to this kind of stuff. So I will be learning how to use this and I will be creating more tutorials as I learn how to use this camera. So this is the lens here and he said that there's a lock on it. So you actually have to push this button and twist to get it going because if you don't, then you're not going to be able to use the lens until you unlock it. So when you want to lock it again, you basically press that button again and twist and then it locks it in place and you're not able to open the lens. So that is the Nikon D5500. Like I said, I'm a newbie to this, so this is all the stuff that came into the box. I will be learning how to use this and I will be letting you guys know in tutorials how I'm going to be able to do stuff with this. So stay tuned for that. Also, when we got this camera, we wanted to get accessories so that we could use it right away. I'm going to be going to Las Vegas soon, so I needed this to be ready for filming. So before we even start filming, we need an SD card. And I got the PNY 32 gig Elite Performance SD card. I did some research online and some guys were saying that this is a good one to use and it's not very expensive compared to the other brands out there. So I'm gonna try this out and I'll let you know if it's, if it's any good or not. I made the mistake of using a crappy SD card in my GoPro and I lost a bunch of footage when I was in Hawaii. So I'm never gonna make that mistake again. People say that this is high quality, so I'm gonna try this out. And I got a 32 gig. I also am gonna be getting a couple more, just in case you know you run out of space or one dies on you. You'll always wanna have a couple of extra. So the next accessory we got was a cleaning kit. So a cleaning kit for the camera. It's not like the GoPro where, you know, you can just wipe the lens with your shirt because it's in the, the case most of the time. When it's in the case, you can do anything to that camera. It's going to be a lot different because I'm used to the GoPro and being rough with the GoPro, going underwater, going scuba diving, tossing it around, putting it in the grass. Whereas this one I've got to be a lot more delicate with. I can't be doing that kind of stuff. So we got this cleaning kit specifically for the SLR cameras. And... I've never used this stuff, but I will be finding out how to use it. So I'm guessing that is for dust and that's to wipe the lens and not sure what that is for. We got a bunch of cleaning cloths for the camera and I think here there's some lens cleaning tissues for the lens. So we'll try that out. You definitely don't want to touch the lens with your fingers or get any crap on it. So I will be using this lens kit. This was really cheap. 20 something, actually $15 on Amazon.ca. Put that aside. And the last accessory that was an essential that we needed was a case. So I did some research online and I found this case. I didn't want a generic black case that everyone has. I wanted something a little bit nicer. So we got this one. It's got like, you know, a grain pattern and I just thought it looked kind of cool. It's nice, compact and small and it's got a lot of compartments even though it's small. So it's got the strap here as well so you can see inside and there's like another mesh pocket in here. You can put stuff here as well and there's side pockets as well. So I got this um, this case on Amazon.ca for about $26. So far it looks really good. I mean I like the quality and I like that it's not just typically black like all the other cases. Oh another thing is it's got this bottom here that 
you know, if you put it in water or something, it would be water resistant so it doesn't go through at the bottom. So that's cool. So those are the three main accessories that we've got right now so that we can get up and running with our Nikon D5500. We will be getting a shotgun microphone and a tripod as well. And when I get those, I will do reviews on those items as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. This was the unboxing of the Nikon D5500. I will let you know more about this camera and if I re really recommend it. But so far it looks great. It feels great in the hand. It's not too heavy and that's what I was looking for in a camera. And this is our first DSLR. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.